Hi, I'm Bob Guillaume from NC Biomatrix. Uh, thank you for having me here for the Innovation Cafe, and uh, thanks to Margo and the Kazena team for organizing everything and giving me the opportunity to present the new innovations in the medical area uh, that we're working on here in Eindhoven. So we are focused on developing new possible treatments for people suffering from pain due to different orthopedic indications specifically people suffering from chronic back pain due to disc degeneration. And as you can see here, Mr. Pilatus, who I think many of you uh, know, I didn't even know an individual existed who developed this, uh, talks about basically the quality of life being dependent upon the flexibility of uh, your spine. I think that's an important thing to remember. And if we take a look in the next slide at the spine itself, you can see our back is composed of 23 individual segments or joints. Here in the picture, you can see the white is bone above and below, and in between the red is the so-called spinal disc, which serves to keep a certain space between those two bones. In the front of that uh, construct, in that segment, there are nerves, blood vessels, ligaments, uh, that run through that very small space. If you look to the bottom, you can see basically what happens when the disc degenerates. It loses its height, it becomes smaller, and the space in front of that disc is contracted. This causes undue pressure on nerves, blood vessels, and spine running there, uh, and that can often be the cause of back pain. So today, what do people do when they have chronic back pain? You start off going to the doctor, and of course, you have conservative treatment, basically physiotherapy, massages, whatever it may be. And if you're very fortunate, you know, that will help you. But in most cases, uh, it comes down to pain management, so taking pain medication to control the pain that you experience. Of course, over time, that pain will increase. It will not go away just because you take pain medication. And at some point, the pain will become so great for the patient that they have to have a large surgical procedure, which is basically called a fusion, where the disc is removed and that segment is basically solidified. So you're losing one joint of the 23 in your back. We think there's a great opportunity in between the conservative treatment and the large hospitalized surgery to have a simple injectable outpatient therapy to address the cause of the pain, not just to manage the symptoms of the pain. So if we look on, how does that happen with the NC Biomatrix? You see there is a gel, a viscous gel, that's injected into the center of the disc. Again, the disc has two parts. You have a very hard outer ring called the annulus and a gelaceous center core of the disc called the nucleus. Uh, you can maybe simply think of this as a tire with the hard outer shell and the air inside. With the generated disc, it's like having a flat tire. So you can blow up the tire. This is what we're trying to do with the gel being injected and restoring the height and the volume of the disc. Of course, it's important to know that the outer ring has to be intact. You can imagine if there's a hole in your tire, you can put all the air you want in and you're, not, you're still going to have a flat tire. So this is what we do with a very, very thin needle so there's no damage to the outer ring when it is injected. Again, the advantages for the patient, for the society, for the physician, is that you can do it simply in a doctor's office. You do not need any hospitalization. You do not need any surgery. You do not need any rehabilitation. And in terms of other injectables, it's an off-the-shelf product. It will be there. So whenever the patient comes and has this indication, it can be applied directly. So going on, we can see a little bit about the technology. I don't want to burden you with too, feel, too much technical uh, details, but to go quickly through, the matrix that we're making is derived from pig's tissue, porcine tissue. And why is that? Because the so-called notochordal cells are basic building blocks for us humans when we're embryos and very small, but when we lose these cells as we get older. Uh, whereas the pigs, they maintain these cells over their entire lifetime. 
So we take the material, we process it, and in the end we have a powder, which is basically the proteins surrounding those notochordal cells. So if we look on, you can see that's how it comes from the spine. It's processed and we have a powder at the end of the day. And to go on, you can see also in the next slide that uh, we've done plenty of the last three or four years at the TU Eindhoven in vitro lab experiments, uh, basically to prove that it functions the way we want it to function and that it's not harmful to any of the tissues and uh, constructs involved. You can see here just some of the testing that's been re done in the lab. And if we move on to the next slide, you can see also, the next one, is that there was also an animal experiment done using dogs where we injected it into the spine. And you can see here pictures of the discs after they were explanted at the end of uh, the experiment. And you can see what you want is the white space in the center. The darker it is, the more degeneration is in that space. So you can see at that point we had two small dosage injections of the matrix. And you can see in the middle the one picture that's white, just like it should be, is the NC Biomatrix one. Even when we use stem cells, which everybody thinks is a cure-all for everything, you can see it did not solve the problem. So moving ahead from the technical side, is that something that would be clinically accepted by the physicians and the doctors? And of course, we've talked to a number of uh, physicians, and we already have a center in Munich who is going to be doing the first pilot trial, clinical trial for us, uh, who basically confirms that people are looking desperately for some kind of non-invasive, simple solution to really get rid of uh, their back pain, and that the patients are more than willing to pay themselves for such an innovative procedure. So if we look further, how many people could profit from such a development or technology? Uh, I myself have had back pain, maybe many of you as well. Uh, we estimate that for a very specific indication for the degenerative disc disease, there's at least 8 million patients in Europe alone who could profit specifically from this NC Biomatrix technology. So a very large amount of people who could be helped by that. As you can imagine, if we would be successful only with a part of these patients, it would be a huge benefit not only to the patients themselves, but you would have less societal costs involved with the disease as well. So if we move on, who is the team? You can see me here presenting, but next to there on the side, you can see Professor Kaita Ito here at the University of Eindhoven. He actually and his team developed this technology, so he's the father of the invention. He's an MIT and a Harvard Medical School graduate, so very, very competent and skilled. He was also a board member on the AO Foundation in Switzerland, which is the biggest orthopedic education and research institute in the world. So that gives us, a, of course, a great network uh, to explore in the, with this technology. Uh, we as a venture are an NLC company. NLC is a venture builder in Amsterdam who goes around uh, looking at institutes and universities to find interesting technologies that has commercial potential. They started in Holland, and now five years later, they've expanded their projects throughout uh, Europe, and they help the ventures in providing administrative infrastructures so every venture does not have to do this on their own. Also, since two months, we have our first employee, Kelly, who's focused on the regulatory quality side, which is a very important challenge uh, for every young company to get a certification in an all ever, ever increasingly difficult environment, regulatory environment in Europe. So what have we done? Where are we at today? Or what are we doing? We are now going into the final preclinical. So we're looking, one, at doing biomechanical testing because the important thing is that the biomechanical restoration of the disc functions. So this is done in the University of uh, Ulm where they have human spine uh, specimens that are injected and then subject to 3D motion as we normally would walking, doing everyday activities in life. And this would document and validate the fact that this restoration is maintained uh, the second important project is looking at the safety aspects, so toxicology, immunology, 
We want to make sure that the patients who receive this treatment do not have any adverse reactions uh, to the injection uh, themselves. And then from there, we'll hopefully next year go on to a pilot and further clinical. So if we look at the next uh, point, of course, there's also IP. The uh, patents have been applied for and are held by the university here in Eindhoven. We have exclusive rights uh, to the patents and any future technology. The first patent is already in the regional phase in the EU and in the US, and we expect the EU patent to issue by the end of the year, uh, the US patent a year later. So oh, then to look at what is going on, potential competitors may be wrong, it's potential technologies because we're not the only ones who think that a simple injective therapy would be a great thing for people suffering from back pain. And there are basically different categories. One side, you have people looking at stem cell injections as a possibility uh, for restoring uh, this as well. The problem with the stem cell injection is you need two procedures. You need to take material from the patient, process that material, and give it back to them in a second procedure. Secondly, it's not biomechanically stable. It's just a fluid with some cells in it. The other uh, technology that's uh, being looked at is basically an injection of polymer, so a type of plastic, into the center of the disc. Uh, the issue there is, of course, you have the biomechanical stability, but if this does not work, what are you going to do? You only have, again, the surgical options. With NC Biomatrix, we think you cover all the bases. You have a biomechanical stability initially, but the matrix also serves as a structure for the cells in that disc to regenerate itself. So over six to 12 months, we expect that disc, basically uh, the matrix to be resorbed and the disc to have its own cells and anatomy. So even though there are other technologies out there, we think this technology we're developing here is superior. So going on where I think is the future, as I mentioned, next year we hope to have the first pilot clinicals quickly followed by multi-center clinicals that will lead to a certification in the EU uh, at the end of 2023 and allow us to market the first products in, in 2024. So we still have a ways ahead of us, but uh, we think we're on a good pathway moving ahead. So finally, I'd like to thank you for listening. Uh, welcome any questions uh, you may have and hope uh, you were able to get a good understanding of uh, this, what we think is a very innovative technology that fits the whole innovation environment here in Eindhoven. Thank you.